I mean, it's blue, it's purple, it's green, it's amazing. Holy moly, things get crazy. Crazy amazing. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and this probably isn't gonna be a very long one, just because I don't have a ton of products sitting in front of me because I keep kind of like repeating a lot of the same things. So I have some super standouts, but not like a ton of super standouts this week. I repeated a lot of the same things. Um, but also I'm not feeling very good. I am on antibiotics, so that's helping, but I'm just not feeling 100%. So that's another factor, but I just really don't have a ton to talk about. So it may be a short one, but I do have some good things to share. So let's jump into it. On my nails this week, I've been wearing this polish and this has lasted so well. I got this in my Influencer Spice Vox Box. This is the Sinful Shine with Gel Tech and this is in the color Prosecco. And it's like a really pretty kind of like taupey, purpley kind of a color, really more like gray taupe than purple, but it has a little bit of lavender in there. But then it has some really pretty golden micro shimmer. It is gorgeous and it was easy to apply. It is pretty sheer on the first coat. So I did two coats, but really probably three would give you more coverage with it, but it's worn really well. So I'm impressed with it. I think it's a really pretty color and it's just worn really well. So if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you know that we went on a little mini vacation last weekend. So anytime we go out of town or most times that we go out of town, I try to bring some kind of like an all-in-one sort of makeup palette just because it's more compact and it has multiple products in it. So a lot of times I bring the Tarte um, like circle ones, but this time I brought my Lorac Pro To Go. I haven't used this in so long, but this is what I have on my eyes, my cheeks, even my highlight, my bronzer today. I really like this thing. I've mentioned a bajillion times on my channel, Lorac shadows are not my favorites just because of my particular kind of makeup application technique. I'm a super blender, so I can tend to blend them away too much, but they are super pigmented and really beautiful. So this one I've used on my lid today, and this is what I used on my lid when I wore it during the week or last weekend. I wore it again during the week. But um, I like wearing this on my lid, but also as a highlight. And it's just, I mean, it is beautiful. Like these are just really good shadows. And then the face products are on the other side. This is getting messy, but the face products are on this side. So you've got those in there too. So it's just like a all in one. You've got everything you need, kind of a palette. So I think it's a really good one. I can't even remember the last time I've used this palette. So I'm glad that I broke it out and gave it some love again, because I mean, look at those shadows. They really are nice. I understand why people love Lorac shadows. I think it's just like, you know, how do you apply your makeup? Are you an over blender like me? If so, you're probably gonna have to tame it down a little bit with Lorac. Or if you, you know, I don't know, don't blend quite as much, you might not have a problem with them. So anyway, they are really pretty and it's a great just all in one palette. And then good old Urban Decay Solstice. This is just incredible. I can't remember if I talked about this one recently or I know I talked about Diamond Dog, but I can't remember if I talked about this one or maybe another one. I don't know, but I've been really reaching for these recently. This one is just incredible. I mean, it's blue, it's purple, it's green. It's amazing. Um, I am gonna have a look coming up with this. Finally, I'm doing it as my New Year's look. So I'm gonna be using this one and also Kaleidoscope in that look. Oh my gosh. I mean, there is so much happening with this. It's like impossible to describe. It's just amazing. So, and this is using it dry. So when you use it with Max Fix Plus or like a glitter glue, holy moly, things get crazy. Crazy amazing because this is so pretty. It reminds me a lot of the well, I remember I did a, I think I did a comparison swatch on my Instagram of this one and Max Boom Boom Room, which was part of a limited edition collection of theirs. Um, and I think they're super duper close. Anyway, they're both gorgeous, but I mean, this one is still available that you can get it. 
and I would highly recommend it. For blush this week, I really don't have any to talk about other than the ones that are in the Lorac Pro to Go. And honestly, I don't even remember wearing coral this week. I think I pretty much just wore pink, which is just a gorgeous, classic, kind of baby pink. It's a matte. I mean, you can see in the in the pan, I mean, things get kind of messy. So, you know, Lorac products, I mean, they get kind of messy. They're a little bit messy, but they are really pretty. So this one, like I said, is just a really nice, feminine, girly, pink blush. I love it. And I do feel like, um, I think their face products are easier to work with than their eyeshadows because, I mean, obviously you have a bigger area you're working with, so, you know, as it's blending, it's just a little bit easier to control versus on your eyes. You've got this, like, you know, at least on my eyes, I mean, it's a very small surface, so I have, you know, hooded lids and not a lot of lid space, so I have to use small brushes, and if I blend too much, things get crazy. So, all that to say, their face products I don't have as much trouble with as I do with their eyeshadows. I don't have to be as careful with them. But they do have a really nice texture, they do blend nicely, and they wear really well throughout the day, so I think this little thing is really good. I feel like I've been neglecting it, but I think it's a nice little palette. For lips this week, I was really into like holiday red lips, so I have a couple to share with you. But also, I've still been wearing my Manicadar, I don't have the box anymore, but the gloss lip stain something something in all of me. Such a pretty pink. Had to mention it again because I just keep wearing this and I love it so much. Just a beautiful pink. I'll show you one more time. I swatched it last week. But it's just a beautiful kind of mauve pink. It's amazing. I love the formula. It's really comfortable. I just really love the color too, a lot. So, I don't know. This is pretty much living in my purse. I think it's awesome. So the first red lip that I wore this week is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl. Oh my goodness. This is like just kind of a bright pinky red. Well, not even pinky. It's really just kind of a um, cool toned red. It's not super orangey. It's more on the pinky side, but it is still a red. It's more red than pink for sure. Um, but it's just gorgeous. I mean, it applies so nicely. It wears really, really well. As far as like how it feels on the lips, I mean, it's pretty matte. Um, so if you don't like matte lipsticks or even like liquid lipsticks, I don't know that you will like this, but this isn't as drying as a liquid lipstick, but it's just more like a matte lip, but it's beautiful. I love this color so much. If you're looking for a good classic red that's gonna stick around, this is definitely one I would recommend. And then I also wore one of my Maybelline Color Blurs. This is in the shade 15 Berry Misbehaved. This is definitely more of a pinky color. It's still, it's still towards a red, but it's more of a pink than a red. But it looks really pretty, like blended into a red. So I did wear this with Dragon Girl, or you could also wear it with more of a red lip liner and do kind of like an ombre effect. But you can see, I mean, it's like super pigmented, really good coverage. These are pretty long wearing. Um, I think that they're a little bit dry on the lips. I think they feel more like kind of like a matte lipstick because they pretty much are matte. Um, but I haven't heard that from everybody. So I think it's kind of a personal thing of like how people feel about this formula. For me, it's, I think it's a little bit drying, but I'm a matte lipstick girl, so it doesn't bother me very much. Um, but I really, really love this color. And honestly, these have grown on me. At first I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. But the more that I wear them, the more that I like them. And I think this is a really pretty shade. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. Again, I didn't have any fooies, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.